much better than in other fights. Not that it's been bad before, but he's getting a lot of leverage in that punch now. There were rounds where he was going almost exclusively to the body, or at least starting out as yeah. attack to the body, and then coming up, there were rounds where he used a right-hand lead almost exclusively, and then, of course, there were rounds where he just relied on his jab. You see Ward with his head in there. Hank Johnson had been cautioning Murray to, work, to uh, be concerned and be vigilant about Ward using his head on the inside. Of course, if Mickey Ward gets more desperate here, that might be a temptation. Which, of course, makes the uppercut of Murray, which he has used with some success, that much more of a weapon. And Ward landed a good straight left in the southpaw stance after throwing the jab. No big damage, though. Even when Ward has gone left, he does not confuse Murray at all. Crowd would dearly love a knockout by their hometown hero. They should understand, though, that knocking out Mickey Ward is very difficult. Yes, in fact, so far impossible. For him. We come to the end of the eighth round. This now is as far as Charles Murray has gone in his professional career. Four rounds to go. We'll be back. blocks north of Rosedale. A ray of hope for Mickey Ward from the left-handed stance. Look at him land that good uppercut. That was one of four or five good punches he landed in the last 40 seconds of that round as a lefty. I'll tell you what I would do. I would just come out as a southpaw and, 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 and see if that would affect him. He's not doing it now, but that was his best success when he switched to lefty. And, I, and, and the thing is, there you go. He landed more in that. And I, I'll bet you that eight or nine or ten of those punches that were landed of the 24 came when he switched to the left-handed stance, and he landed his most powerful shot. And this is the ninth round, so right now Charles Murray is where he hasn't been before. And Charles Murray now starting to run away and hide a little bit. Well, it's, it's something has to change for Mickey Ward, and he's just going to go down to a unanimous victory, de or unanimous defeat. Murray was there with a right hand a minute ago, and then a left hand after that. See, what worked for them, that left-handed stance, I thought would work on the inside, and that's where he landed that left uppercut. Now there he goes to lefty. Now he's got to jab his way in, get inside, and rip punches. Now it's easy for me to say that at ringside, but that's their plan anyway, and that's what he was trying to do. Not throwing, Mickey Ward, just not throwing, nothing. No punches coming there. That's why Murray can take his time and do whatever he wants on the inside. Right hook, here's where, Mur where Ward needs to be, ripping right hooks to the body. That's what he used to do in that inside stance as a lefty. That was his stock and trade. I bet you Mickey Ward's thrown maybe 20 or 30 body punches in this whole box. Good ones. Look at nothing for Ward. He should be taking a step to the right and ripping that right hook. And interestingly, the pace of Charles Murray has, has slowed just a little. A little bit, but again, I wonder if he's not just thinking, I haven't been this far, I know i got a lead in this fight. You know, I don't think he himself oh, yeah. knows what's left in the tank. Probably wondering at this point. And that isn't to say that he's tired. He doesn't feel any time. Uh, he's still throwing punches. Just, he's not quite as accurate. See, and I attribute that to the fact that Ward gave him a new look. He's trying to figure it out now. This will be the first time he goes 12 rounds if it in fact goes the distance, and it's likely that it will. And I would venture to say that the next time he goes 12 rounds, he'll be a different fighter. Even more aggressive crash right, because you'll he'll know exactly what it can do. End of the ninth round. Home safety is important. Yes. Should I have one? Uh, Auburn. That gets underway at 7.30 Eastern time. Three outstanding games in what has been an outstanding football schedule here on ESPN. That's a good trio of football games to watch. Meanwhile, we go to the 10th round. And more and more apparent that Mickey Ward will need to get Charles Murray out of there to win this fight. And 
There has been no indication whatsoever that he can do that. Murray again through nine rounds, 45% connect percentage. That's very good when he's throwing 600 punches. I mean, that is excellent. And you know what, unfortunately, this and the Harold Brazier fight is proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Nicky Ward just is not the same boxer he was and um, might be closer to the end in the middle or beginning of his career. And he's a good guy with good people around yes, him, he and, is. and you would hope that uh, they give him good advice, and that good advice being don't, don't just be a trial horse. Again, Nicky goes for the southpaw stance. See if he can make it work at all. He's had limited success with that. This is mentioned for the junior welterweight title in the USBA. And, and what these USBA and Intercontinental and the various titles that we have really mean is that you're going to be considered for a world title shot at some point, and that's exactly the hope of the winner of this fight. Well, and even the names indicated, United States Boxing Association or the North American Boxing Federation by another group, a stepping stone to a world title. Whichever one of the eight or nine you choose to head for. Right. Whichever one of the W's and I's you want to head for. See, pretty soon there's going to run out of letters, you know? Yeah, that'll, that'll solve the, the alphabet soup problem. Exactly. I like that. Exactly. And you can't have four letters. You can only have three. So that would only mean about 600 different letters. A little permutations that are 26 letters. Well, Murray now backing Ward up. Well, Mickey Ward is backing up against the ropes with his hands up. You know that uh, he is not in this foul. And knowing Mickey, he'll probably go the distance. He is a tough guy unless Murray lands something really huge. And Murray wants that knockout, make no mistake. He would succeed where the likes of Harold Brazier failed. Frankie Warren. Frankie Warren, who couldn't do it. Machine Gun Mundy, who was a pretty powerful guy. Edwin Correct. He yep. was not a bad fighter. Gave his first loss. There's a right hand by Murray. Looks like a guy who's just thinking, maybe I can just get lucky with one shot. Mm -hmm. And he won't unless he starts throwing. Let's see what, what could Dick Eklund possibly say to him at this point other than a pep talk. You gonna get him? That bell came at the 45 second mark in between rounds. I tell you, I gotta tell you, they're gonna get mad at me, but I'll tell you what. Time is a problem here in New York. How many times have we been in this state and they can't make a three minute round and a one minute rest? It's not that hard. I know they'll get mad, but I'm sorry. We've been in New York maybe 10, 12 times, did you say, in the last couple of years and every single visit here. They can't get a three-minute round and a one-minute rest in between. wonder how they are with eggs. Pardon? wonder how they are with eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't order an egg in New York. That's right. A three-minute egg takes two minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's pretty basic. the 10th round the story just continues really a little bit lesser percentage for Murray but he's still through 93 pressure and Dick Eklund you heard the pep talk to Mickey Ward you got to win by a knockout certainly accurate advice and he said you can do it obviously trying to pump his boxer up Mickey won't do it unless he can let something go and I'll tell you Mickey has shown so few punches during this bout with real conviction that was what happened to him against Harold Brazier he just didn't throw didn't let his hands go 
But, but is it that he did throw it, or is it that Murray is just not letting him? Well, it's a combination of both. But there were times when Mickey Ward could have been aggressive. I mean, he wasn't being under attack the entire time. Here, right there. As Howard Cosell would say, right there. <laughs> Look at the right hand. Good right hand, and it made Murray cover up. And so he was looking for one punch, and he found it. But now he's going to need a couple more. And instinctively, Ward moves to the lefty stance on the inside. That's what he used to do. See what this does for Mickey Ward. He's firing back. Here's Charles Murray. But he was starting, definitely. And that's because Ward got aggressive. He took, took a chance, took some shots. And he rips on the inside. That's what he needed to do. There's the right hook. Where was it? For ten and a half.